Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. The video today details the validation of the SIP enrollment password in the context of the Avaya Aura solution for the midsize enterprise upgrade. The video that you are viewing details a key piece of the upgrade process for the Avaya Aura solution for the midsize enterprise. The validation is a must that the SIP enrollment password is the same in the three places that will be noted. Those places are the present server, system manager, and the CDOM web console. We'll be examining all three of those locations. We'll be following a systematic approach that is required to validate password synchronization and extend the password expiry time if needed. The first step in the process is to validate the SCEP or Simple Certificate Enrollment Password. This is referenced in a subdirectory in the CDOM virtual machine. I have logged into CDOM as the admin login or I could use an Avaya proprietary login that is ASG challenged. I am changing directory to slash VSP data slash template slash midsize underscore ENT. From within that directory I may examine the file ovf-env.txt for the presence SCEP string. I will use a grep command followed by the string shown to extract the data that I'm looking for. As shown from the name value pair, the password is admin01. This is the password that we will validate in the next two locations. The next data point we need to look at is within System Manager. I have logged into the System Manager and we're looking at the main dashboard. From this view, looking down the Services column, select Security. In the upper left menu, click the choice Certificates, and then Enrollment Password. Validate the password listed in the top row matches the one previously determined. If it does, then look at the next row to determine when the password will expire, or if it has already expired as shown here. Extend the interval to four weeks and be sure the password is entered exactly as it was in the present server. Any of the time values would be okay as long as the upgrade can complete. I typically use four weeks, which will be acceptable in the case that the upgrade can occur at a later time. And finally press Commit to submit the work. We will now go back to the CDOM web console and validate the last item related to the SIP enrollment password. The last thing that needs to be validated is done in the Network's Property page. You'll need to click the Server Management drop-down and select the Network Configuration. After the page is opened, near the very bottom is the SM section. There's only one entry, which is the enrollment password. If that matches the previous two items we looked at, the validation step is complete. As you can see, it does match the other two locations. Once the balance of the remaining validation steps in the process are completed, your upgrade can be performed. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.